Hi fellow Libras! Welcome to my channel and my space. For those of you who are new, my name is Raquel. And um, those of you who are returning, all my other fellow Libras out there, because I'm a Libra too, um, it's nice to see you again. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, and yeah, so this is a reading for the week of the 8th through the 14th of February. Um, I'm going to be trying to do weeklies here, so let's see how they do. February is my trial run. Let me know in the description box if you want to continue to see weeklies from me. Um, these are general messages, so they won't resonate with everyone because I am reading energies here and not people. Um, please keep in mind that if it doesn't resonate with you, one of your other sign videos might. So go check them out. They're located here on my channel. You can put yourself wherever you resonate best in this, um, reading. And yeah, I think that's it. All my other disclaimers are in the description box and all the decks that I use for the reading. I already said the intent into these cards, so I'm not going to have to say them <laughs> when I shuffle. I'm trying to like make my videos a little bit shorter. So let's see what's your most needed messages for the week. Libra. That one wanted to jump out. We've got use your time well. Make every moment count. So Libra, with this, it's saying, what are you investing your energy into? Okay, is it going to be proactive and productive for your future? All right, time management comes up with this. All right, you don't want to be that person that uh, forgets or thinks that you have all the time in the world and you put your energies into things that you shouldn't put your energy into, which means you won't have energy to put your energy into things that you do need to put your energies into for the future, if you understand what I'm saying there. So you need to use your time wisely and expend your energy wisely this week. Think about, um, go back to uh, July, the end of July, beginning of August, what was going on for you back then because that was the Leo new moon. And the Leo full moon is happening on the 9th, Sunday the 9th. So um, whatever you were thinking, whatever was happening around that time, it's coming into its full manifestation this weekend, okay? So let me get, I want to pull a couple of more, uh, three more. Uh, messages for this to go along with use your time well. We've got black cat, we've got direction, and what else to explain this? Ooh. Affirmation. Okay. And you know what I think is funny is we've got black cat and good luck right here on one side of the reading. And then we've got the wishbone on the other side of the reading. So what was it that you were wishing for and hoping for back at the end of July, beginning of August? Because that's coming in for you. It's your direction. It's where you're supposed to go. You have good luck surrounding this. And look at the cat here. Look at the cat here. All right. This speaks of using your time well, okay, using your energy sources well, and good luck coming back to you for it, all right? I feel like you did make every moment count from that Leo new moon all the way up to this Leo full moon. You've really been using your time, really been putting your energy into something, and now the manifestation is coming through. We've got the black cat for good luck. If you have been seeing cats in your dreams, you know who else also had this? Gemini did. If you have been seeing cats in your dreams, um, they do represent good luck. And they represent um, other spiritual meanings. I mean, it goes by the color of the cat. It goes by, you know, the condition of the cat. It goes by what the cat is doing. So look up. If you dream of a cat, look up the dream meaning. And that will tell you what this good luck is about. 
definitely going in the right direction. So you have good luck on your path. Good, good luck is coming to you in the direction your life is going. All right. And a wish is coming in. A wish that you have been wanting to come in since August. So this is good for you. This is amazing for you, Libra. Hold on a second. I have to turn off my phone. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn off my phone. So yeah, good luck, direction, and wish. It's something you've been wishing for, something you've been praying for, something you've been putting your energy into, and it's taking you down the, the right path in your life, and this is blessed, and it has good luck. And, you know, I'm seeing a lot of oranges, and I'm seeing a lot of yellows, and I'm seeing a lot of browns, so you might want to do some grounding. Um, you might want to align your first three chakras. I'm really getting that for you. Also, your star chakra or your crown chakra. Wow. All righty. So let's break this down with the tarot here. I do have with um, all my videos now, I am putting my two favorite meditation channels in the description box because I often tell you guys to meditate on certain things. So I'm just going to put my two favorite channels there and you can check them out if you want. Um, because they have short meditations and they have long meditations. They have sleep meditations. They have like waking meditations, guided meditations, um, all sorts of meditations for chakras, for, you know, um, balancing and aligning. So, all right. Libra, Libra, what is this about? And I don't know why I heard no need to fear the reaper. And I'm getting death. I'm feeling like it's change. I'm feeling like it's change, maybe a change of direction. No need to fear change. Okay, one more shuffle and then I'll cut. Libra. I just got that download. I'm sorry. No need to fear death. No need to fear the reaper. You know, reapers and death in tarot mean change. So doesn't mean actual mean literal death. All right. We've got the emperor as your underlying energy. So you taking back control of your life. This is goes along with the use your time well. You know, you're taking back control. You're knowing where to put your forth your energy, where to put, put forth your time. Um, we've got the ten of swords. So whatever painful mental um mental thing you've gone through lately recently is lifting I feel with the black cat and the two of pentacles it's like you're becoming more balanced um you have a lot of happy times ahead of you there might be a little bit of confusion because you have so many opportunities opening up for you um, I do see that maybe you've had that in the past but now like happier times are coming in you're more balanced and it is it is erasing the pain of the past for some of you, and you're becoming more in control of your own world here. And I feel like a lot of you, it has to do with the moon cycles. So if you, <laughs> yeah, you're moving on towards happiness and marriage for some of you, um, because you know what you have and you know what you need now. You've been activated and you've done a lot of meditating on this. You're a lot smarter, a lot more wiser, a lot more abundant, um, and you're more in touch with your soul self and people are noticing this. Some people are not happy for it either. So just to the people that aren't happy for it, okay? Because you know what? If they are unhappy about your success, look back at them and say, you need some, <laughs> you need some love, you need some love, you need some help, you need some care, okay, I send you light and love, that's what you need to do, because they're not, they're not in your world, they're not, you don't need people like that, okay, so we've got the ace of wands under the black cat, I like that, and then we get the seven of wands underneath direction. I like that as well. And then we got the king of wands 
underneath wishbone. These are all wands right here, which is telling me this is your passion. This is your drive. You are ready to get things done. You are ready to live your soul purpose, Libra. You are ready. You have undergone so much in the past two to three years, probably for some of you, five years. And it's like now you are finally standing in your element. You finally know your direction. You have a passion for it and you're going for it and your wish is coming true you've got good luck and an affirmation wish bone around you so this is telling me that um it's coming in for you good we got the ace of wands and the black cat with good luck this is this is you being blessed on this new creative endeavor that you are doing, this new passion, this new drive that you have. It is blessed. It's going to bring you good luck. Some of you might be changing totally different direction from what you did at the end of July, beginning of August. Your whole thing has come to accumulation, and it's like now you've got that next wish, that next passion to go for. Your creative, your creativity has like done a 360 or 180 is what I want to say. Um, yeah, and it's like now you're standing up. You're standing up for your passion. You're going in your direction and be damned if anybody get in your way. Be damned if anybody get in your way. Oh, wow. I love that. And then we've got King of Wands and Wishbone. So this can talk about travel. If some of you have been wanting to travel or wishing to travel, it could be a Leo that's involved with you. But, um, you know, and I'm looking at your reading and it's all fire energy. The only energy that we have is that isn't fire energy is past energy. And that's the Ten of Swords. So this is like you being creative, you needing to travel, you wanting. This is a wish that you've been wanting for a very long time. And with the King of Wands, that represents Leo to me. So we have the Leo full moon on the ninth. You know, this is accumulation from the Leo new moon that happened in July, the end of July, beginning of August, can't remember the date. But this is saying that wish around that Leo season is now coming to fruition, is now coming true, that manifestation. So think back what you were trying to manifest. Use your time well as well. Um, you're going in a totally different, I feel like for some of you, this is a brand new passion. You're going in a totally different direction, but it's kind of along the same lines, but in a new creative direction of it. Okay. And you're definitely sticking up for yourself and you're using your time well. Oh my God, Libra. This is going to be a long reading. I keep getting down. <laughs> All right. So let's see what angel you've got around you. Zadkiel, security. So you're creating your own security this week. You're standing in your, in your, in your, you're standing in your own light and creating your own security this week. You are getting some type of wish fulfillment or some type of good luck around this new passion. And it's creating security for you. So if you become lost or if you don't think you're using your time well, reach out to Zadkiel, ask, ask him to help you. This is also, I don't feel like this is love. I feel like this is more of a creative endeavor, more of a creative passion. And um, with security, I'm really getting that it could be job related. Uh, you finally aligning to what your soul purpose is and actually going after it. So that's what I'm getting for you, Libra. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see future content from me, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my community, a part of my channel. Um, I wish you all the very best. This is amazing. I'm so happy for you, Libra. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, have a blessed week. Bye.